hi guys welcome to a new video so today's video is going to be a hair care and a skin care video i'm not a professional professional with regards to taking care of my skin but these are like my holy grails for the moment and today it's kind of chill so i'm wearing a shrug and a turtleneck cap sleeves top on the inside so and we have gray jeans on the bottom so without wasting any time let's get started uh, with the video but before we go towards the video don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell visit my channel page i have like a hundred plus videos see whatever suits your boat and click on it if you find it informative click the like button don't fail to share and subscribe to my channel so let's get started with today's video i'm going to start with hair care because i have a lot to say about skin care personally my favorite this is not a sponsored video nothing is sponsored i have spent all of my money in these skincare products because sometimes you find things that are not suited to your skin and you keep switching until you find the right product for your skin and you cannot damage this frame of your full body this is the frame people look at this first so you have to keep it presentable you have to keep it something you know people find you good and people approach you because your skin is looking flawless so we need to take care of this part so i'm going to keep that aside first we'll start with hair care hair care i have already told you my holy grail for hair care is having a good oiling mask treatment before washing your hair i don't find shampoos fortify strengthen or promote hair growth i don't know i personally feel what shampoos do is they clean your scalp and the rest of your hair basically you apply just shampoo to your scalp and when you rinse it out the foam the leather that is there on your scalp drips through your hair and it washes the rest of your hair your strands don't need as much leathering of the shampoo so the whole idea or the whole element of the shampoo is to wash your scalp it is not going to fortify nor strengthen your hair so because I have had comments stating that why don't you speak something about fortifying and you know uh, shampoos that promote hair, hair regrowth. I use the Himalaya Gentle Daily Care Shampoo but before I use that I do a oiling mask. I basically do oiling mask every alternate days and this is what I would do in college. Suddenly I stopped and the health of my hair declined. I went back to that regime again. I'm sorry I'm touching my face all the time there are there's cat fur everywhere and it's settling on my eyelashes so yeah oiling mask is important and that is what I do I oil my hair and this has been a holy grail coconut oil is a must if you are not using coconut oil you're not fond of co coconut oil you can find an alternative oil but for me coconut oil is a must I mix it with olive oil castor oil these two oils hydrate the hair strand and it's very important for me these two oils if you have curly coarse thick hair castor oil is your best friend mix it with your other oil i mix it with coconut oil and then i add a few drops of peppermint oil now speaking of essential oils peppermint oil rosemary oil tea tree oil these are like those mint like tingling sensation kind of oils these oils you add two to three drops in your oil mix massage it thoroughly on your scalp it's going to give you that tingling sensation what the tingling sensation does is it promotes blood flow blood flow leads to promoting hair growth so there are chances your hair growth might be slightly faster by adding these uh, oils so yeah this is what i do regularly i take a small vessel i mix all the oils and massage it on my scalp leave it for an hour or two and then i wash my hair don't do the over oil oiling it can weigh down your hair it could weigh down your hair so i don't recommend overnight oiling but one to two hours prior your wash hair wash you follow the oiling mask this is my favorite then i use the plum plum pre shampoo hair oil as a serum once i'm done with my bath my hair is damp 
I'll add two drops and I will work it on this side of my hair two drops work it on this side of my hair and then I use the Himalaya hair cream which seals all that moisture and my hair looks flawless by the way I have bleached my hair and you know the day after I bleach my hair I always use a thorough oiling because these oils which I'm speaking about they help in hydrating the hair revitalizing your hair so that is what I did what happens when you bleach your hair it sucks the life out of your hair and your hair looks dry and brittle so it needs that extra nourishment so oiling or a nice hydrating hair mask is recommended during this period I don't know if you can see I might put that video up I'm not so sure this is for my hair care I do occasionally hair masks I use the plum avocado hair mask I was using the Ikte onion hair mask which is also good so I do occasional hair masks but this is like my holy, holy grail I have to do this before I shampoo my hair which is alternate days the next thing coming back to skincare you know at this point in time I was investing in retinol creams and I came across this cream by Saint Botanica don't get me wrong I really like Saint Botanica products especially their hair care line but I came across this cream I was using it thoroughly I was using it thoroughly the only problem with this is it has an odor the kind of odor which I label if I label this odor it will be kind of controversial but seriously this smells like cat piss this cream smells like cat piss I have been using it I don't know if it has given any results on my face but I was facing like Melia over here over here so I just stopped it all together and it is they're lying down just don't feel like wearing at least for the scent some people would make it work mix it with something but the cat piss odor is so overpowering I don't feel like using this I have a day and a night cream and I don't feel like using this and these are pretty expensive creams and I I won't go back to using it please it smells disgusting I don't know whether these are all natural in ingredients that's why it should be appealing when you apply something a slight scent would do i don't know fragrance is bad but some natural oil at least to give that fragrance i don't feel like using this product so thumbs down for these two products by saint botanica i personally love their hair care line i've used their hair care yeah saint botanica's hair care i used some serum i also i think but this no I am not going to use it again now I suffer from dark armpits and I have been using this this was the recommendation on Nika it's the body coat underarm cream and it costs around 500 something something instead of using a deodorant I've been using this it's a very clean gel based product and it sits your skin sips in really well and I have seen a visible difference not a drastic difference it helps with pigmentation uh, not a drastic difference. This is my second tub. They still work to. I am yet to see res results. Every day after bath, I use this uh, cream under my pits. And I want to try the plum pit cream. I just came across it. I'm not so sure. But I want to use this because this literally. I don't sweat as much un under my pits. And there's no bad odor when I use this. It's gel based lightweight cream and I don't want anything heavy a heavy deodorant or anything under my pits this is amazing I have like three more jars in stock once I'm done with this I ordered straight away once in one package I had one and once I started using that one I ordered three more for look on the go use now coming to my favorite favorite ever so favorite skincare brand I'm sorry, I'm a sucker for Korean skincare for the time being. I have been using the Cosarex Snail All Day Cream, Snail 92 Advanced, Snail 92 All in One Cream, and it is such an amazing cream. If you're an oily skin, you should consider this. It's a gel based slimy cream, and you can see, you know, how I apply the cream. So this is my morning face it's clean i have washed it with himalaya uh 
Kesar face wash, the instant glow face wash. I'm glad that Himalaya changed their title from fairness face wash to instant glow because that uh, title itself is controversial. I've been using Himalaya for so long that it suits my skin. I know some people are against Himalaya, but uh, that suits my skin. So I wash my face with uh, the Himalaya instant glow Kesar face wash, and we are going to be using this. This is the Kosar X all-in-one cream, 92% uh, snail secretion. So I was telling you, I don't know if I've told you, but this is like a slimy texture. I thought I would uh, find it weird applying this, but I'll show it to you. This is what the texture looks like. It looks disgusting, but I use it all, always use it as a base to my face. So, you know, it looks disgusting, but it's fragrance-free, okay? A product that's fragrance-free, and I think it's non-comodogenic, which means, Everything is natural and it will suit your skin. So I don't know if that is what non comedogenic means, but it suits my skin and I have seen like a visible difference. But you know what? I let this sit and sip in. There are days where I use a uh, face mist. I uh, face mist as in the green tea detox by plum the face mist the green tea mist i use it on my face sometimes whenever i feel the need i uh, use that that has helped me with my milia i have milia milia like small transparent boils that you get on your face so i used to get those and since i have uh, you know moved to this this is this cost me around this stuff cost me around 1500 you know you can't be using any shit on your face if it doesn't suit your face don't use it use something that because your face skin is very sensitive so you have to use something that is one that suits your skin and this really suits my skin instead of purchasing a MAC lipstick that costs around 1500 here in India I would prefer investing in this and using something that is much more affordable my favorite lipstick currently is the Maybelline uh, crayon ink super stick lipstick that's my favorite so this is my base and my skin has already absorbed everything the next step is using a moisturizer this is my second what you say love and hate kind of moisturizer i'll tell you why this works fine because it has niacinamide niacinamide is supposed to help with your pores with acne and all that sort of thing and i have noticed like a, a considerable difference in media i used to get media here here and these areas were like the spots where i used to get media and i have uh you know experienced a considerable difference the only problem with this is this is the biodama etodem cream and it is from normal to dry skin and i have a combination skin the problem with this skin uh, this cream i use just a pea size amount of this cream because it is very hydrating very moisturizing and i don't need too much greasiness it absorbs in my skin but a little can go a long way if you your skin is confused and it is oily sometimes you can you just use a pea size amount and blend it in your skin now coming to the con the con of this product is that it smells like pva glue pva glue aka favicol and that's the only problem otherwise it sits in my skin really well and if you're asking me would i consider a repurchase yes i will consider a repurchase mainly because the ingredient is niacinamide and i don't want to spend an extra buck for separate niacinamide serum if this moisturizer does the properties of hydrating and moisturizing your skin and it has niacinamide then this will be my go-to cream because it doesn't do anything bad to my skin on the contrary i have seen a visible difference with this cream so I will repurchase this. If you are suffering from eczema, you can consider their Bioderma uh, Balm Cream, Atoderm Balm Cream, B-O-U-M-E, that is intense moisturization. Eczema is considered to be a rash that is caused to dry skin, super dry skin. The next step is I use the Neutrogena sunscreen. I take this way. I know dermatologists have like a three finger rule, but I use it this way. And spread that all over my face. This is supposed to be your last layer. Sunscreen is very important. Don't forget your neck area. And obviously, <laughs> that's it. That's my skin routine in the morning. I wanted to show you this. This is not an advertisement or a sponsorship, but this Korean brand is doing wonders to my skin. I really, really, really like it. The slime-like texture and it has a slight hint of scent. I don't know what kind of scent it is. It is not overpowering, but the product seems clean. It is not heavy on the skin if your skin pack oily you can straight away go with it you don't have to use any moisturizer but i feel like this is like an extra day on my skin that's all for my morning routine that's for my day care and for my night time i use the snail mucin this is the advanced snail 96 mucin power essence this is also great great i think these two products are going to last me for like six months okay so we are going to do my nighttime skincare routine i have my clean face in the morning you have seen what i used i used the uh, all in one cream by cosrx the snail uh, cream 92 snail secretion cream 92 percent that is what it is and now for the night time i'll be using the advanced 96 mucin power essence by cosrx and it is again a slimy consistency i'll show it to you that was uh, opaque in texture this is slightly transparent it is transparent in texture so first up i will be using plum 
this is the toner i use the word mist by mistake but uh, you know i it is still i'm using it as a mist so i have my spray bottle over here and i'm going to spritz it all over my face like so this spray helps to tighten the pores so it has the goodness of green tea i like to drench my skin with this and i'm going to dry everything um, i'm going to sit under the fan let it dry and then i'll come it's slightly damp it's not completely dry and a side note about plum uh, face toner uh, alcohol free toner this is the alcohol free toner although it has glycolic acid which helps with pigmentation and tightening the pores this came in as a complimentary pack complimentary gift uh, with the purchase uh, plum purchases that i made on nika it came as a complimentary and i have been using this is my second bottle this is my actual purchase earlier i got it as a complimentary i personally really love this toner because it suits my skin uh, i'm a combination skin especially when there are times when my skin is oily i like to use this during the night because it works better because my next step is going to be the snail mucin 96 snail mucin power essence and this is what the bottle looks like i lo love the packaging of cosrx by the way because it is very simple minimalistic and you know their products are non comedogenic morning i said non comedogenic the meaning was the meaning that i gave was wrong basically non comedogenic means it doesn't clog your pores so we are just going to take two pumps and i'm going to show you i'm just going to press it in between my fingers and show you what it looks like okay that's what it looks like looks disgusting but feels amazing on the skin it is not at all oily i would say both the products the morning all in one day cream product and this product sips into the skin very easily they are more this is more like a uh, water gel based product i could say the texture is something like that with this product so with uh, the morning all in one day cream it is more like slimy it is more like the flexi gel have you seen the flexi flexi gel not the core of the flexi gel the top layer of the flexi gel that's how light it is it is not at all thick and it sips into the skin really well and you don't need much of the product so this uh, this and the tub is going to last me i think so for 6 months that that is what the claims are because i have been using this for 3 weeks and it's still you know the quantity is still more i think it will go for 6 months and for the price point i still think it is cost effective it is not at all this and considering that it is non comedogenic it's not going to be heavy or skin congested i think it is totally worth it the next is this bioderma which i use during the day and i use during the night even winters you need extra protection and it is hydrating to the skin i like to rub like this between my fingers and i work it all over my skin don't forget your neck area neck is a part of your face and that's it my skin is like all clean um if you see in all of my videos you will see that my skin is already clean there is no problem there is problem i have milia i have milia i personally know my skin so i'm going to tell you there is milia there are days where i have pigmentation blackheads are visible whiteheads are visible and uh, there are problems For the next product is this bioderma atodum cream i started using it and i was in a dilemma and confused when i was using i didn't know how to feel about this cream it uh, hydrated my skin not in a way that i felt my skin was greasy there was a nice protective layer on my skin i think this has ceramides and niacinamide so i am i'm feeling positive about this the only con the only con is it smells like pva glue ak fairy coil that's fine it's better that it smells something like that than smelling like cat piss so this is my current favorite for winter i don't know how i'll feel about this during the summer i think i should opt for something gel based like the himalaya rose gel face cream so face gel so i might consider that but i'm not so sure currently during the winters i am loving this uh, moisturizing cream the atodum cream it's my favorite That's all for today's skincare and hair care holy holy grail that I use like on a day to day basis I have been using the Cosrx for like 3 uh, weeks now and I'm feeling really good about it my melia has reduced comparatively there was like a lot and with the same botanica it went haywire all over my forehead so I'm not using this again I'm repeatedly saying I'm not using it um then before i start everything this has been my favorite toner it's really great helps to clear everything before i start applying all my uh, moisturizing creams so this has been my favorite and with hair care you know what's my hair care the oiling mask is a must it's a must must and it's my favorite that's all for today's video if you like this video hit the like button don't fail to subscribe with that notification bell tell me what i should try don't tell me something too expensive tell me something that is cost effective because we need something that is cost effective and yet really useful where you can you know actually see results this is expensive 
but it's totally worth it i think it will last me for three to six months i think so i don't have to uh, restock or buy new creams so soon i don't think so it has a long way to go until then bye